Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout for the Color Rush Studio Design Team. And guys, we have this Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Linen Market Kit that is the other side of stunning. Um, there are also, well, I have, I have the main kit and I have the add-on kit. There are so many custom like goodies that come with this that I, I cannot say enough about it. Now, I also have two sets of ephemera. I've got the floral and then like the regular ephemera. I've got frazzles, I have foam stickers, I've got all of the things. So, this word July will totally be a part of this. Well, wait, that could be for my husband's birthday too. Because it doesn't say July 4th. <laughs> so, this one reads July 4th. Okay, change that, July 4th, America. Got it. So we have that. Love it. I think we might go down Doily Lane as well. Okay, so I can move one tiny thing to the side. Um, anywho, so we've got all of the things. It's super fantastic. Now, I also have a sketch to work from, and I wanted to show you this sketch. Um, and I don't know. There might be notes. Look at this sketch. So basically, we're going to do some kind of a patchwork. And there's a large title, small title. These are diamonds. Guys, do things whatever way you want to do them. You do you, right? Um, is there anything else, guys? I get so excited sharing all of these things with you. So, oh, my photos. This is a photo of my son and his fiancé on July 4th. And not this year, because I'm scrapbooking this, like, you know, ahead of time. But I'm going to go ahead and map them in just some scrap white cardstock that I have handy dandy. I might grab, let me put, like, I've got some doubles because I'm a lucky girl like that. Um, I might go ahead and put, um, all right, those were those doubles. Some of these onto a piece of white cardstock so that the colors really show. All right, I want some of this. Let's see, let's see. And then there's some that are just screaming to be like fussy cut, some of the pieces. I better get that out for it. This is perfection for like a 4th of July layout. So what I'm doing is I'm going 4th of July. Love that. But this kit can go, oh my gosh, that's so cool too. What am I going to do? All right, I have to pick, you know, I can't have every single pattern. I could. <laughs> um, so I just have to pick some of the things, and that is so gorgeous and so blue. All right, so now I've chosen basically every pattern, like a goober. Oh, I saw something else that wanted to be fussy cut. Some of these pieces. So I want, I always go ahead and put things that I know that, well, it's the same exact thing that I want to fussy cut out. I like to have those on the top because I keep seeing them. I think it's super fun. Did we have another sheet that had a big old amount of fussy cut stuff though? Is this the same thing? That's the same one. Guys, what am I thinking of? One of these should get, nope, we have that to get fussy cut. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some white cardstock. Fair, fair. And then, ooh, oh, oh my Atlanta, that is hmm, stunning, just stunning. Okay, I'm gonna grab some white cardstock. I'm gonna cut out some shapes. I don't know where I wanna go with my shapes yet though. So I have to pick a red because these reds are slightly different. So I'm gonna go with the one that reads to me more like 4th of July, like, like true red. So I have that, I have that, and I like that. Do I want to bring in the light? Nope. I like those three so much for this vibe. Um, I have July 4th is my title. And then I can do a smaller title because, you know, how it said do a smaller title on the, uh, on the other part. So let's see. I'm looking to see if there's any other notes I need to have. I don't think I do. So what I'm going to do, oh wait, create a patchwork or a tile-like pattern using paper, photos, ribbons, embellishments, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so I'm going to jump off camera. I'm going to map my photos, just clean white cardstock. 
I'm gonna grab some white cardstock and start cutting out some of these pieces. Now, I do like this, and I'm gonna use this as inspiration. I am, I am. So we're gonna cut it out kind of like a quilt, not like the diamond shape that was shown, but more like this. So let me get to cutting and all that stuff. I'll be right back and show you what I mean. So quick check-in time. I decided to cut this blue paper apart a little bit and spread these pieces apart a tiny bit. And I'm gonna sew in between with my sewing machine because I find that to be just so stinking fun. I can't handle it. So I'm just trying to see. Ooh, I kind of like that one there. So let me go ahead and give it a notch right here. So yeah, I'm just kind of giving things a bit of a trim. I did also decide to uh, map my photos in the yellow paper because it was gorgeous and I just loved it. So this, I think I'm gonna go up to this polka dot. So they're gonna be a bit of a rectangle, but it doesn't have to be super precise because I can't do precise anyway. So that makes that easier. And I'm gonna sew those pieces in. I'm going to give them a nice little scuff before I sew them though. And then we'll come back and I have a feeling it's gonna be like, oh, well, that's done. Boom, 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 this whole layout's done. But how fun is that already? These two pieces are on the yellow, like I said, so they're gonna to totally stand out like bam. Love that. So we have our July 4th up there. And then I know I need a secondary title. And I was going to have it be um, This America but it's supposed to be like a smaller title on the sketch, even though I know this looks nothing like the sketch, but you know. July 4th, ooh, together would be perfect. This word together to play off of the yellow. <laughs> Love it. All right, I'm gonna get my sew on, do that kind of stuff. Guys, this is gonna come together so quickly. Oh, and I know I said I was gonna use doilies, but um, I lied because I like the vibe of this patchwork so much. I'm going to just let it speak for itself also going to come in in a little bit let's see i want that on one layout i'm gonna i'm gonna need that and then this on a layout i'm trying to decide because i want to save things but i want to use things probably use these two on this layout okay let me pull them out so cute love that okay so I'm gonna have those things and then we get to start playing with our Simple Stories ephemera. So we have lots and lots of fun to be had. Okay guys, let me give you a quick look-see. I just went ahead and scuffed up my edges, did a really, really, woo, there we go. Come on, pretend we're right here, guys. Look at, it does not want to focus. Focus, Mr. Man, there we go. Just a messy stitch line here. And a super messy one right there because I had so much sewing on this page. I thought it'd be fun. Then same thing all over in between everywhere for my little fun quilt. I have nothing popped down yet. Both my photos are up on a little bit of dimensional adhesive and I'm going to bring in. Do I want to put them on top? Oh, that'd be so cute. So cute. Um, these acrylic stars. I just can't guys are so cute. So I could have one on top, bottom, so cute. And I like this wood piece, which guys, come on, that's gorgeous. And it'll start with getting rested right on this little spot here. Now down here, I want a secondary title, just like this sketch had too. So we have July 4th. I did like that together, didn't I? Let's see, so sweet, shine, happy. Happy July 4th would be kind of fabulous. It's just kind of big and I can't tuck it. Oh, I wonder if I have happy in the smaller words. <laughs> Let me see. Nope, nope, nope. Enjoy. Enjoy July 4th might be really nice. Okay. So let's do together down here like so right on that line. I'm gonna get my photos down. And then y'all, I've got the prettiest, pretty pretties in here. Now, because this is a July 4th, 4th of July kind of layout, I am gonna be concentrating on more of the red and blue with yellow, apparently. Um, but that just leaves me the other colors, the pinks and all of that to use on another layout want to make sure I have some of that gorgeous color 
right behind it. So should I make the boy just a little closer to the bird together? All right, perfect. Same thing over here. Get a little bit of adhesive there. I want them far enough away that you can see that they're playing a game. Oh, that nestles so nicely right there. I'm going to get, yikes, some adhesive. I wonder if I can just go straight across. Will it cooperate? Oh, it is. <laughs> okay, probably used way too much, but it's going to work. I like the blue for her. I associate blue with her. I associate red with him. So it is a win to the win-win. And I'm going to go ahead. Oh, now it won't go on right. Come on, get on all the parts. Guys, it was going so well on the other one. And now it wants to be saucy with me. So I have one there. Let's go ahead and put one down here. Love it. So the stars are on the wonk. Everything else is pretty darn structured. Do the same thing with my title. Then we get to just run around decorating everything. So let's see. I'm just using my handy dandy easy runner brand from um, Scrapbook Adhesives by 3. Oh, which, you know, y'all know how great that one is. It's one of my very faves of their line. Okay, so we have that cute, cute, cute. So as things go, oh guys, that was glaring right on him. Like, yeesh. Okay, as things go, this is a really complete layout, right? But I always like more and more and more and more. So I've got the acrylics. I loved those. I don't think I need to bring in these beautiful tabs for the vibe. I love this. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Um, for this, doing more of the stars. So I get to put that to the side, which is what I like doing. I like to um, decide what I don't want to use and move things out of the way. And guys, I cannot wait to use this mason jar. I just, I just can't. I think it's the cutest thing in the history of cute. Oh my word. Okay. So what else do we have that we want to, ooh, some textile. That might be really cute knotted here and knotted here under their photos. <laughs> and I like these stripes so much. So why don't I do opposite day? Um, I can do red on hers, right? And then I will go blue on his. And I just want to have, you'll see in a second, I'm going to put it under the photo and then I'm going to do a nice knot. So I've got these stars and stripes, which is just about perfect for this particular holiday. So then I can move them to the side. So I'm just going to go ahead and and do a really simple knot, like no big deal, just something that you can see just a little bit more. A little something, something. I love all the scuffy pieces, so I never mind getting a little extra scoofy scoofs on my things. And I want to make sure that the printed side is facing out. All right, so I'm going to have to pull that up just a little bit. Not a big deal. And I'm going to put it right under here and just have it wrap around and it'll be cute because it'll be under the star and everything same thing over here that's what be cute then I'm going to pick out some goodies see what we want to tuck in and we'll be done so what I was just playing with I have all these pieces down now right then what I was doing is I took these little pieces that look like galvanized metal and I used a stylus like so from the Dollar Tree very high end and I went ahead and just created a line down the center of each of them and then bent them up. So now I have a nice little dimensional looking star. How fun is that? Okay, so what I will do so it doesn't get all squished back down is I'm going to put a double amount of adhesive in the center of it and it'll keep it poofed up. How cute. And you know, if you're super worried about it, put more in there. All right, so I have that, because I was thinking that at this point, it would be very cute to just star it up as it were. So where do we want this one? Where, where? If I had room, it would probably go there to start. So I'm going to have it come right here and see it does not squish. I love that. And then I have the same thing in the two smaller sizes, so. They go down, 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 and I will use two little poofs. So you don't have to watch me do that because 
it's incredibly boring. So let's see. I like that there. I need, I need room right here and I do not have it. So I have one, a big one there. So why don't we do the two small ones here? And I will do that off camera. So you are not so bored here. Let's go like this. And that's still going to give us a nice little visual triangle, which I always love a visual triangle. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Then I wanted to see if anything was catching my eyes, trying to stay away from hearts, even though I love using them. I just loved them. I was trying to stay away from them a little tiny bit. So I was going to look. Okay, perfect. There are some butterflies in absolutely perfect color choices. Do we want to do butterflies or do I want to do florals? Right over here, there was these really pretty floral displays. So maybe I'll go that way. So my icons will, will stick really firmly into being stars with just some gorgeousness tucked out and coming, <gasps> yep, coming from behind, which once again, I'm trying to kind of stick to a color palette. We'll see. I'm going to have so much fun when I get to use all of those butterflies. I mean, I can use them anytime. I like that one. That one is mostly red. So yeah, I'm just going to tuck some florals in. And guys, this is going to be done like so quickly. Love it. I have big plans for those. Such big plans for the dandelion kind of things. I just have to find this one photo from back in the day. Oh, there it is. I was looking... You guys, did you just see that blue floral? There it is. I just think they're just the prettiest. The prettiest of pretty. Ooh, this one would be nice. So this one that I already tacked down, of course. I think it would be really cute if... I'm all about the bendy bend. If we could pop it out just a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do that. There's no trap space, so that is awesome. We can get this little shape rebent up the way it is meant to be. Cute. So that's on there nicely. This, we just need a little bend around the leaf because flowers are not flat. They just are not. They like to have just a little bit of action, a little lump and bump. Yet I need it flat to go underneath. So let's not pay any attention to anything I'm saying. Perfect. Same thing over here for the one by this girl this nice girl of ours see i like how this one comes right out with the um with the ribbon and all of it but i guess it's all like one big cluster and we just we just have to deal with our design issues i'll just put more flowers and more and more and more okay love the lemons but guys there are so many fun ideas going on Guys, look at, look at the sweet little tiny bee. He can go into the flowers. I'm going to put a little bit of dimensional adhesive up for that little guy. So guys, listen, I'm, I'm just faffing about having way too much fun. So let me get these pieces on and I'll come back and show you this when it's all finished up. Just finding little bits to pop into my clusters. So I think I want to put some white splatters in. So I'm going to go ahead and find my ever so fancy bits that I use to cover for my splatters and I just grabbed a little bit of white paint tiny bit of water and I'm going to see boop, 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 boop. if I know you can't even see it it's like blinding white practically if it's liquidy enough for me to do anything with I just grabbed like some craft paint that was on my desk um yeah, and I know I have white on the background, but I think it would be so cute to get some white on these acrylic pieces and on the little bees, all that kind of stuff. I thought, oh my gosh. Oh, and on the um, 4th of July. Oh, the other thing I did is I took one of the stars that I had up there and brought them closer down into the clusters. I liked that it all just being in there just a little bit tighter. I thought it was more fun. Let me go like that. Come on. Yeah, it's still not splat enough. So I will have links down below for the Facebook group as well as a website so you can get your hands on the kits and see what everybody's doing with them, all that kind of fun stuff. Mm -hmm. I'll also, of course, have some still shots to follow. Mm -hmm. Just trying to get, come on, come on, paint. Get in there a little bit. 
See how fun that makes it look when you just get a little bit of the paint on the title? Just when you wanna just give it just a little bit of extra something something because next to the water, you're getting splashed constantly. So it is super fun. All right, let me finish my <laughs> not super well-placed splatty bits, but it totally works for me. And let me try to get just a little bit on this blue star over here, because I think that makes it fun too. All right, let me show you what we have. And I'm gonna get some stove shots for you guys to take a look at as well, but super fun layout. Did some stitching, have our acrylics in there, our gorgeous foam words, kind of went off of the sketch, but totally went sideways. I was inspired. Got a little bumblebee on our flowers in a few different areas. And guys, that's what I have for my layout today. Um, yeah, still shots there. And I will see you guys ever so soon with another video. Bye for now, friends.